In 2015, we learned that Lego Movie and the standalone Han Solo movie directors Phil Lord and Christopher Miller would be writing an animated Spider-Man film. I, earlier today, to Sony Pictures confirmed that the movie was indeed happening and announced that the film would feature Miles Morales rather than Peter Parker, the popular character uh, from the you know comics after Peter Parker. You know, Miles Morales took over the mantle of spider-man so to speak I, I don't know a whole lot about the character so correct me if i'm wrong there uh, but uh, anyway this untitled spider-man film will be directed by bob perchetti and peter ramsey and won't be connected to the larger marvel cinematic universe that includes spider-man homecoming and the avengers despite that it's exciting to see miles morales finally get his big screen debut especially after three cinematic iterations of peter parker that, that in and of itself is a bit of news. I, I did not realize that this movie was going to be a big screen debut. I thought the animated Spider-Man movie that was supposed, I believe is supposed to come out in uh, later of 2018 uh, was not going to be on the big screen in theaters. I thought it was maybe just going to be like a direct-to-DVD type thing or maybe released on television. But uh, it's interesting to see that they're going to bring a big, big budget Spider-Man that does not involve Peter Parker or the rest of the Marvel Cinematic Universe to the movie screen. Um, that right there is intriguing to me because most of the time things done by Marvel are all connected to their overall arching storyline in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But this is also being made by Sony. And Sony still owns the rights to the Spider-Man franchise while they are collaborating with Marvel on the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies like Homecoming and the upcoming Avengers Infinity War, which Spider-Man will be a part of. Um, and obviously he was in Civil War earlier in 2016. Um, but uh, since... Uh, Sony was involved in that. I just assumed this animated film was probably going to be attached as well. Uh, the MCU's not really done anything uh, animation-wise, I don't believe, just yet. Uh, there may be something but that I'm missing here off the top of my head. But, uh, uh, yeah, so, I mean, this film is obviously going to be written by a couple great directors who were going to be doing this Han Solo standalone movie, and they did a great job with the Lego movie, who was also, uh, which was also mostly animated. Uh, so, yeah, I mean... Miles Morales is a from, uh, is a big fan favorite among a bunch of fans and things like that. But like I said, I don't know a whole lot about his story because I know more about the Peter Parker side of Spider-Man. Uh, but uh, I'm glad that fans are going to finally get a big screen version of the character. Um, and maybe eventually we will see him in the uh, MCU. But I think obviously the, the proper way for the MCU to tackle it is to do Peter Parker first anyway. And establish that whole storyline and go with that. And then maybe later down the line you think about uh, going into Miles Morales' story um, for the way I understand the story that actually took place. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is this is going to be a lot of fun, I think, um, especially for those who love animated comic book films. I know uh, DC does a great job with their animation side of things. Uh, Marvel has not been as good, uh, but uh, this here may be a step in the right direction into that realm. And if this movie does well at the box office, maybe we'll see more of the Marvel movies in animated form. And that can only be good for the comic book genre as a whole. Well, that'll just about do it for me, everybody. Thank you for watching this video, and if you like what you saw here, please comment and like this video. And you can also subscribe to the Jailcast on YouTube uh, by searching for Jailcast there. You can also find links in the description of this video for my Facebook and Twitter, or you can go to facebook.com slash jailcast, or you can find me on Twitter at Eric Jail. So, until next time, thank you for watching. God bless.